Solving survival riddles takes bravery, intelligence, and the ability to think logically, even under extreme pressure. Do you have what it takes to escape an erupting volcano? How about deadly whitewater rapids? Join us now on the ultimate adventure where everything you know about problem solving and survival will be put to the test. This is the best series of story riddles you will find. Before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe. Number one, losing your cool. One day you wake up on a beach without any memory. Yes, hangovers like that do exist. With nothing in sight, you feel very hot because the sun is just above you. This beach is far from a vacation. The temperature skyrockets to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and even the shade inside the shack is too hot to handle. You need to cool down, and you've got these items to help you. Which one would you choose? Aluminum foil, seawater, clean water. Seawater is a no-go. Clean water is far too precious to tip over your head. That leaves aluminum foil. True survival experts know that metallic foil is a fantastic way to cool a shelter by covering the walls and roof of the shack in as much foil as possible. You can deflect some of the sun's heat, driving off heat stroke a little longer. Number 2. Urgent Departure You wake up to find a note pinned to the shack wall. Your next survival riddle. It says salvation lies north. Beware. The most violent tribe in the Northern Hemisphere is headed to your location from the south. If you're still here when they arrive at 3 p.m., you'll be dead meat. Looking at your functional watch, its hands now read 245. You need to head north, but which tool can help you figure out the right direction in under 15 minutes? A. Leftover aluminum foil B. A stick and two pebbles or C. Your watch Aluminum foil isn't much use for navigation. The stick and pebbles could be used to track the movement of the sun and calculate where north is, but that'd take more time than you've got. Your watch, on the other hand, can calculate north immediately. As the note said, you're in the northern hemisphere. Knowing this, all you need to do is hold the watch horizontally, lining up the hour hand with the sun, drawing an invisible line in the middle of the angle between the hour hand and the 12 will give you the south. The opposite angle is north. You have a chance for survival. Number 3. Volcano Blues After a day's travel, you come across an abandoned town. You find a motorbike with the keys still in it parked outside the town's church. Before you can search for more supplies, the nearby volcano erupts. In the distance, you see it. There's no sign of glowing red lava, but a huge cloud of black smoke is hurtling towards you. In a minute, it'll reach where you now stand. Do you A. Take the stairs to the top of the church's spire B. Head down to the church's basement, which is filled with vampire bats or C. Take the motorbike and ride away full throttle. Dust reaching hundreds of degrees in temperature can form thick clouds hundreds of feet high. Even if the church's spire was the tallest in the world, you'd still be scorched. The volcanic dust can also travel at 200 miles per hour, difficult for even the fastest motorbikes to outrun. Your only option is to lock yourself in the basement with some fanged friends behind a firmly shut door. Number 4. Going Down Unfortunately, the basement's dangerous too. The room's quickly filling with dust from outside, making it hot and hard to breathe, not to mention the hundreds of vampire bats on the ceiling. Which choice will be most helpful in preventing you from suffocating and overheating in the dust? A. Disturb the bats, getting them to fly around and create some airflow. B. Lie as flat to the cooler floor as possible. Or C. Take off your shirt, hoping the bats don't bite you and give you rabies while you cool off. Creating an airflow of the same dust-filled air won't help you. Lying on the cooler ground might be comfy, but the dust will still choke you out before you know it. Taking your shirt off would be much more easier than a strip tease. You could actually hold it over your mouth and nose to act as a filter, reducing the amount of dust being inhaled. Number 5. A Nasty Fall By some miracle, you find a secret passage in the basement and escape the dust. You enter a cave and stumble into a subterranean river which carries you off. Eventually, you fall down a large waterfall into a much deeper underground river. 
surrounded by rocky cave walls on both sides. You try to swim onward, but the force of the waterfall is creating a reverse current, pulling you backwards with an intense force. You're barely able to breathe a breath, your body is aching, and you'll drown if you don't act fast. Do you A. Swim down into the crashing water B. Give all you've got and try swimming out of the waterfall's pull C. Swim to the side and try to climb the walls your body is already aching from exhaustion, so onwards is a no-go. Even if you could grip the slimy cave walls, you'd have to do the impossible and escape the current first. While going downward seems counterintuitive, going as deep as you can will lessen the force of the current, and swimming further downstream this way is your best bet of overcoming the deadly pull. Number 6. Abandoned Hope Eventually, the river spits you out into a murky swamp. You narrowly escape a population of alligators so large you're forced out of the swamp into an abandoned theme park. From the water-damaged buildings, rubble, and debris blocking most routes, though, you can tell the place was recently flooded. The park's pond sits in the middle, with strange indentions in the mud of its banks. The rest of the park is an impassable mess. There are only three paths available to move on. A. Swim through the murky pond. B. Pass through the Tunnel of Love, which has become home to several groups of Asian giant hornets, or C. Squeeze through a narrow passage in the rubble, disturbing the yellow and black striped, three inch long venomous spiders waiting there. You can't swim because alligators could be there. As for the Tunnel of Love, Asian giant hornets are among the deadliest insects on the planet, avoid at all costs which leaves the tight squeeze past the spiders, which are golden orb weavers. They're non-aggressive and their venom is harmless to humans, allowing an easy passage. Number 7. Tower Trouble After traveling north for a few days, you found yourself in a large open field. In its center lies a narrow tower, home to a mysterious stranger with a hatred for people who can't do math. He says you must figure out the height in feet of his tower. It's 3 p.m. and the sun is out. He gives you one minute to solve this survival riddle or he'll shoot you for trespassing. What do you use to solve it? A. Your shoelaces B. Your spit or C. Your shadow In a sunny open field at 3 p.m., both the building's shadow and your own will be easy to see. Standing next to the tower, not exactly how far your shadow reaches against the tower, you can walk to the end of the tower's shadow, noting how many times your own fits inside it. Simply multiply your own height in feet by that number and you've got the height of the tower. Now that you've passed his survival riddle, you can tell him to go and buy a tape measure. 8. Wild Welcome Your joke didn't go down too well, as the mysterious stranger welcomes you into his tower. He shuts the large oak door behind you, locking you in there. The weird stranger's tower is empty apart from a sign that says freedom, pointing to three separate tanks you can access below you. You'll starve unless you do something, so your only option is to enter one of the tanks and pray there's a route out. Which tank will it be? A. Filled with three very aggressive territorial porcupines whose spikes have been tipped with venom from the world's most toxic cone snail. B. A hungry dairy cow with the face of a polar bear. C. A pool containing a huge 10-foot-long Humboldt squid, which the man brought up from the deep sea a year ago. These squid have a reputation for aggression towards humans, and their tentacles bear hundreds of suckers, each lined with razor-sharp teeth, to grasp prey and drag it toward their large, sharp beak. Cone snail venom is so complex there's no anti-venom to remove it a polar bear would kill you easily. As frightening as it seems, the Humboldt squid is your best bet. Few deep sea creatures manage to live longer than a few weeks because of the environment that's so different from their deep sea habitat. Hop into the tank, move its dead body aside, and head for the underwater exit. Number 9. Let it slide. You think you're free, but on your journey, another mysterious stranger appears and reveals himself to be the evil supervillain. At gunpoint, he forces you to ride one of three water slides colored red, blue, and yellow. One of them leads to a deadly vat of sulfuric acid, while one leads to paradise. All he tells you is this, ride the red and you won't not be dead. 
It's a lie to say the blue isn't dissimilar. The yellow doesn't have less in common with the red than the blue. Which is the right answer to this survival riddle? A. Red B. Blue C. Yellow Writing the red, you won't not be dead. This double negative means you will be dead. Yellow doesn't have less in common with red than blue, meaning it does have more in common with the red than the blue. And apparently, it's a lie to say the blue isn't dissimilar to the red, meaning it's a lie to say the blue is similar to the red, which means the blue is not similar to the red, but the yellow is. This means that red and yellow are deadly while the blue is safe. You're safe now. Did you solve these survival riddles? How many did you get correct? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.